hello uh, good evening all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create a record inside o database using webhook in o version 17 so the method that we are going to discuss here is applicable for o community edition as well as the enterprise edition so first of all what you have to do is that make sure that automation rule the technical name is base automation ensure it has been installed in your database so for that you can go to apps menu and if you search for automation tool you can see that app its technical name is base automation so ensure it has been installed and you have to enable debug mode and navigate to settings technical and if you scroll down you will see a menu called automation roles so what we will be doing is that we will be creating an api endpoint at odoo using the automation rule of type webhook and using postman application we will call this api endpoint and pass some values so like whenever we call the api endpoint and pass some values it will perform a the configured steps and it will create a record inside Odoo database so what we will be using as an example is creating a customer or creating a contact inside Odoo database so let's create a new automation tool and I'll name it as create customer or you can put create customer using webhook anything you can put and the model I'll choose as automation role so you can select the automation role on trigger here you can see you have a selection called trigger select on webhook so once you select the trigger condition as on webhook odoo will provide us an api endpoint which is an url and you can see we can change by clicking on the rotate secret button the url will get updated so you can copy this url and here you can see there is an option called target record you have to delete the current value and you can put as follows model dot search square bracket comma limit equal to one so what you have to do is that you have to update your target record as follows model dot search of limit equal to one so we have created an automation rule given a name model is set trigger and target record is set now you can hit on save button the next thing that we have to do is that we have to add an action so here i'll add of type execute code and here i'll write a line of code env rs.partner create here i'll pass as vals and here i'll define the vals dictionary So I'll make it as multi-line name equal to payload dot get name so I have added a couple of lines of code like this save and close hit on save button now what I can do is that I can call this URL so let me copy the URL and what I'll do is that I'll navigate to postman application and I'll trigger a post request to that created webhook this is my url and the body has to be of type row and json now from here you can pass any values as a dictionary so i'll pass the name as urumates for you so what i'm doing is that i'm passing this api endpoint with this payload so inside my payload it's a dictionary i have a key called name and i'm passing the value as urumates for you now if i hit on send button you can see you are receiving a response like saying status is okay now if you copy this name and if you search inside odoo contacts application here we have contacts and if you search for odoo mates for you you can see a record has been created successfully so if you check view metadata you can see it has been just created this is my local time and you can see its id is 65 now if you change auto mates for all i just updated the name hit on send status is okay come back to the contacts app application search for auto mates you will see auto mates for all so this was 65 id 
and this is 66 so you can see we have successfully created two contacts in Odoo application using the webhook so right now i have this pass only name and if you need to pass multiple values like for example if you check the contacts model here you have different fields like phone mobile email website etc so if i need to pass all those value i can pass from here phone you can set your phone number over here i'm putting a dummy value and if i'm if i need to set my mobile I can write it like this and if I need to pass my email or at gmail.com etc so what I'm doing is that I'm passing more values like phone mobile and email and let me change name to Odoo 18 and now if I hit on send and if you search inside Odoo like if you search for Odoo 18 you will see only name is mapped phone is empty mobile is empty email is empty because we have to adjust the automation role so here previously we have taking only name from the payload now what i have to do i have to adjust here phone payload dot get payload dot get phone i'll do one thing uh, let me copy these lines then one for phone mobile and email so here i'll update like mobile here email so i'm taking the values from the payload so payload will give us the value we passed from here so we will get this dictionary and i'm assigning like i'm taking name phone mobile and email and just preparing a dictionary and passing to the create method now i hit on save and if i create again Odoo meets videos I'll put like this and hit on send all ok now if you come back to Odoo and search for Odoo meets videos you will see the record is created phone number is there mobile is there email is there so this is how you can create a record inside Odoo using webhook so what you have to do is that install automation rules application enable debug mode navigate to automation rules menu you can name a record like give a name for your automation rule here i have named it as create customer model i have choose as automation rule trigger on webhook which will give me a url target record you can update as follows then actions to do i am executing a core so instead of passing like this you can simply do create payload which will like the problem is that even any value user pass it will be created like for example you have to consider your security so this will if this method we follow we always update only specified fields if you don't need any restriction you can just remove these values and directly pass payload to the create method and if i hit on save now what i can do i can pass any values so if i pass website here roommates.tech and if i hit on send status is okay now if i search for roommates videos the second record is created website is empty but here you can see website is coming now here we have field function if i need to pass value to that field function which is job position exploring Odoo ERP I'll give the position as exploring Odoo ERP send so a new third record will be created you can see exploring Odoo ERP now for example title if you need to pass title you can pass that field here um, my boss I'll put like this There is some exception finally we got an error so i think the field name is different one t-i-t-l-e yeah it's a selection field you can see this is not a free character field this has to be a selection that's why we got error so we don't need to pass value to this one or we can pass for example this title 
we have to pass id contacts title so what i'll do i'll create a new one pause save now i have to get its id so in order to get id i'll make the field id visible over here and if i refresh id is 6 you have to pass the id as it is a many to one field okay succeeded now if i come back here search for odo mates which one it is maybe this one yeah professor no what was the id i have passed six yeah we don't need to <laughs> dig on that one so what i'm telling is you can pass the values like this from here receive it inside payload and pass to the create method so i hope the method is clear for you previously we have shown a different method which is not suitable with this method like what i'm saying is like we already have released a different video on this topic so it was not a good method we have got a good method which is i have shown in this video so if you like the video please do click the like button and support us by subscribing to the channel and sharing the video with your Odoo friends so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you